I don't want to give you the impression that I've had like a lot of jobs in my life. I worked 10 years at this one place. It was a camera store in Buffalo. We had a lot of odd people who walked through the door. One of the oddest was this guy who hated the two owners for some reason. Every so often, he would go in the back of the building and he'd break the window. We have a basement window there and he'd pee in it. We had a lot of odd people, kind of just like that, and one of the odder people was one of our top salesmen, actually. His name was Artie. He had a pretty big following because he was a local celebrity with the cameras. He was always doing seminars and stuff like that about cameras, and people, like, really trusted him. One of his followers you might have heard of, he actually was the basis for a movie, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. No kidding. Before he came to the store, we read about him in the paper. So he was convicted of killing a couple people in Texas and cutting their bodies up with a chainsaw. And then he was on Texas's death row for a couple of years. They let him off because of some technicality. He went to Rochester and they kicked him out of Rochester and he came to Buffalo for a short time. Anyway, one day he came in and he was asking for Artie and he wasn't there. So I had the task of telling him that Artie was late and if you'd like to wait, you could wait for him here. So he was waiting for a few minutes and then the few minutes became 15 minutes and then half an hour and Artie still had not arrived. We offered him a chair. The guy was sitting there for the better part of two hours. I would say that those two hours were the longest two hours of my life. I kept flashing back to what I read in the paper. I guess he had a history of violent behavior and his third wife discovered him taking a bath with a dead deer. The marriage ended after that one. So I kept looking at him and he was sitting there staring at me. He had like this weird stare. <sighs> I was going nuts because I had no idea what he was thinking.